புத்தம் போது வேடி புத்தம் போது நோய் திக்கியாத மோய் திக்கிது வாழி வித் தன் திக் தூம் திக் தூம் யூ நோ வெரி கியூட் சவுண்ட்ஸ் ஹியர் அண்ட் தேர் I would be very, very sad. <laughs> Sorry, Aditi. <laughs> the moment that comes, it's like, break my heart. Vanakam. Vanakam. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise. When I got a confirmation call and when they said that I'm going to interview you, very first question I wanted to ask you was about the jackpot moment. When ARR said to you that you're going to sing three songs in one single album. Um, well, initially when I was called for OK Kanmani, it wasn't for three songs. So it wasn't, for me even one song is a jackpot moment for sir. Uh, the first song that i sang for him was parand selva it's a really cool track because there were so many components in that song um you had something very groovy like a puttam pode veri puttam pode noi tikkiyar moi tikke devali puttam pode veri there was just so much happening that whole jazz blues thing going and suddenly that breaks and then you have body uh, sounds that the song is basically made on body sounds so kartik has done some chest uh, beats and we've done tik tum tik tum you know very cute sounds here and there um and then it breaks into that whole typical parand selva parand selva it goes into that and then he makes me do little things like uh, 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 there's so much scope in the song so i just it was it was such an enriching song for a singer so parand selva happened and mani sir was sitting there during the recording oh. and i didn't know that <laughs> when i came out i saw so was anyways there and then on the right i look and there's mani sir sitting and he's like <laughs> so I'm like yay you just said parand selva has a lot of small small elements yes, yes. and there is a lot of scope for a singer yeah but how much time did you take as a team to decide all those small small elements and put together actually that was purely sir i mean as a team i i don't recall um, i just did what sir told me to do so when he would tell me okay do a little classical thing here i would do something and then he'd be like okay try doing it like this i would try doing it that way and he's like yeah nice <laughs> or if he'd want me to change something i did then he'll tell me you know don't do this or whatever so um but but yeah i mean whatever those little tik dum tik dum and all those little things that tak chik tak chik tak that was all sir he explains all those things yeah he he told me to do it like that so i did it like that and i think the child in him really really helps in this <laughs> he's 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 got this wild imagination and um which is very very um akin to a child's and that allows him to soar parand selva So Sasha parand selva for us. Puttam pudu veri puttam pudu nori tikkiyada moi tikkiyada vali. Puttam pudu veri puttam pudu nori tikkiyada moi tikkiyada vali. Ah 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 just like that. Ah 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 ah. Yo sikade po. Ya sikade po. ஒரு <laughs> um the actual groove of the song which is very different from the composition and it's a 7 8 which goes into a 4 4 and then which again goes into a 7 8 so 
It's a of masterpiece. Of course, difficult. Yes, difficult. It's a masterpiece. It's 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 the work of a genius. <laughs> so that happened, and then the same night they said that um, Sir wanted to use me for Kara Takara. So I went and I dubbed Kara Takara, and then by the time I knew it, and I wasn't sure um, about any of the songs whether the final song would be in my voice or not. It was later when I saw the track list that I realized that three songs. <laughs> Thank you. We all know about his uh, love for experimentation, mm -hmm. but whenever we listen to those songs, mm -hmm. we get excited. Mm -hmm. But I want to know how much he gets excited when he describes an idea. I, I think he's very passionate about his work. Uh, when he tells us to sing something, it's a very interesting process. He'll tell you to sing something. He'll come up. He'll have a preliminary idea, and then he'll he'll tell you to sing it. Especially when I did something like the Ninnu Kori in um, Rasali, exactly. you know, uh, he said that I want to see the real Sasha <laughs> when I was recording that, and he said, um, "Sing it like a tappa." Now, tappa singing is very difficult. It's it's very fast. It's like. Uh, 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 hmm. It's very, very fast paced singing. So if you notice, it has that same thing going on there. There's a lot of fast paced work happening. And I didn't think that I'd be able to do it. But like I said, his sensibilities are so evolved that he pushes you to the point where you don't know that you're capable of doing, but he knows. <laughs> he knows that, you know. He believes he in you more than you believe. Absolutely. Ah, thank you. That's the best way of putting oh, okay. it. He really, really believes in his singers. I, I love that. I think that's one of the things that I love most about Rahman. Let's drive through the roads of Rasali now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bike ride through the roads of Rasali. Hmm. Ninu kori, ninu kori, ninu kori, unna nora. Ninu kori, unna nora. Ninu kori. It's a whole new experience for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Listening to Sasha Tripathi. Oh, thank Sitting you. in front of you itself. Oh, gosh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Even after uh, becoming a lead singer, you were a part of ARR's chorus. Mm -hmm. Did people tell you not to do that? Before that, yes, I did sing leads for other people, not for Sir. For Sir, I would still sing chorus. For Sir, all my life I will sing chorus. For Sir, I'm never a lead singer. <laughs> But sir, I, I'll, I'll, um, I'll sing anything he'll want me to sing. I mean, I owe everything to him. So there's no way I cannot be express my gratitude by singing something that he would require me for and not do it. For me, I had worshipped him for 12 years. I had kept his photo in my mandir and I used to show him in Agarwati India every day. So for me, um, that anything for him, even just standing in the, you know, <laughs> rehearsal room, please just Sasha watching him walk. Here. Please, Sasha, come here and stand. Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> that would be fulfilling for me. So, um, for me, it's just being near him was, you know. Or actually, um, I, I remember dubbing Sun Bhavra for OK Janu. Mm. And um, we had recorded that late night, early morning types. So, I think around 5, 6 in the morning we were recording. 
and um, we were recording Sun Sun Bhavara and it's a thumri and that whole experience of singing a thumri with sir, uh, I can't state anything that happened in particular but it was that hour, that hour and a half, those two hours that we were recording. Um, I think I found myself to quite an extent during that session. Uh, it was that, see, and it's really difficult to describe certain moments because th it's, it's like when you have to describe a smell. How do you say what something smelled like? You can just say it was sweet or it was, you know, must We can't put it in words exactly. You can't, and, and how he wanted that whole, uh, hmm, Soon, soon, bhavra. He wanted this really fast. They and that was the highlight of the song, and it's not soon, 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 soon. It's not that soon. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's very soon. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, correct. That was funny. Thank so, you. So, um, stuff like that, you know, and him telling you how he wants this particular line to be sung, and when he sings, I wish I could have sung twenty percent of how he was singing it. I don't think we can replicate it, you know, to that extent. Then Rasali was definitely one of, you know, the f the, the funnest recordings I've had. Uh, so Sir said that, um, he initially said that, okay, sing something which is beautiful for the Ninnukkodi part. So I sang really nice, long, beautiful phrases, you know, extended, um, extempo kind of thing. So then he's like, he calls back after the stems have been sent to him and he's like, yeah, it was beautiful, but, um, I want you to sing it like a tappa. So I was like, okay. Then he's like, show me who the real Sasha is. I was like, mm. <laughs> first, I was first like, of all, I want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you only show me who the real Sasha is. I never know what I can do until you're, you know, you're there. So, um, so then I was like, okay, let me try this. So then I sang it in a um, that whole Ninu Kori Ninu Kori Ninu Kori Unna Nura Ninu Kori Unna Nura Ninu Kori how can you sing so sure. flawlessly? <laughs> Thank you. It's not flawless. I can think of a hundred mistakes, but <laughs> but I am not able to find mistakes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this I had done approximately 15-20 minutes of this. Different variations, oh. different stuff. That genius, he just sits and he comps it and he puts it together and he makes a concise 25 seconds of Look at how great it sounds. It sounds so complete. It sounds so full. That was a really, really great, you know, experience working with Sir. One more question, very important question, which is your whole experience of singing the Hamma song. Did you feel any pressure? Because you already have a virginal version, which is like yeah, so popular. Yeah, yeah. So did you feel any pressure? Of course. See, um, it can be looked at in, in both lights. Uh, a song like Hamma, it's something that we've grown up listening to. It's We've heard it time and again, we perform that song. For me, it, it was more about how I kind of add to the song and the requirement of the new production of the song because it's very important to focus on what's in front of you right now. Um, I think a song needs to be worthy to be recreated. So Hamma in itself, just the thought of someone saying that, dude, let's recreate Hamma. That means that Hamma itself is such a brilliant piece of work that a person would be inspired to do something on it. To, to kind of think that what the new producers would, how they would take the song or how they would treat approach, a song. Approach, yeah. Yeah, how they would approach, exactly. How they would approach a song like that. And also considering the, the, um, the setting of the song, which was in a, in a, it's in a small bedroom, you know, very minimal sound. So I think that kind of, you know, it confines you and you have to work within that. Then the next thing was that a female singing. So for me, fitting in was kind of what I was um, concentrating on. And of course, emoting in a way that would suit the, the whole mood. Of yeah, the mood of the song. So I did that and it just, I had a lot of fun recording it. I loved recording. And also because it was quite different from the other songs that I've sung. It's quite different from... Um, you know, the, the songs that I've sung down south, 
as well. I had I had an opportunity to sing something like that, which I hadn't in um, previous Hindi or Tamil songs of mine. So, um, so I was I was really happy doing Hamma, and I'm I'm glad that you know the song did so well. And Sir was also quite happy with it. So that kind of made things you know <laughs> cent percent clear in my head. For us now, the Hamma song. Yay. <laughs> खेली चांदी जैसा ये बदन सनम मिला तुमको मन में सोचा था जैसा रूप तेरा आया नजर हमको से तुम खुली खुली सनम गोरी गोरी बाहे करती है यूं हमें तुमने जब गले लगाया तो खो ही गए हम तो हम्मा 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 ए हम्मा हम्मा Humma humma humma, ik ho gaye hum aur tum, to ur gaye ninde re, aur khan ki paaye masti me to kangan khan ke re humma, humma, humma humma humma, eh humma. Part part ke rene khushi aadi hai, you became happy. Yeah, it's a happy song, so I have to be happy. So in the mari part part la nahi kare, you can always be happy if you sing. songs of this kind yeah. this this genre how did deeman choose you for silikumarame after <laughs> after a series of melodies very smooth songs iman sir i don't know how he chose me and um i had met him a couple of times before that and i had uh, expressed my interest to work with him because i had heard some of his songs and i was in awe of his production and composition he's a great <coughs> composer he's a he's a really really good composer so um So when he called, I was really excited. I went and, like I said, they don't lose faith in you. Like Rahman sir never loses faith in you. Iman sir, same thing. He'll keep making you sing until he gets what he wants. In a lot of recent interviews, mm. we can see Aditi Rao Hyderi singing one by one. Right? Yeah. I mean, she's got a beautiful voice. <laughs> Did you expect it from her? Huh? I I had heard that she's got a nice voice, and I have heard her Aditi sing one by one, and I love it. and i tweeted about it as well because i really liked how how she sang it i'm just glad she didn't sing the final song <laughs> i would be, i would be <laughs> i would be very very sad <laughs> sorry aditi <laughs> but um i love that song to to death i love one to death and i'm very grateful for this one song because i remember when i was singing it i was just trying i was holding back tears I was so touched, especially where that one part, na garvam kunda kala yuraivan, kala yuraivan. The moment that comes, it's like break my heart. <laughs> so let's just invite the special one now. Yes. Van varvan varvan varvan, van varvan varvan varvan. Van var van var van mar pol var van mar mam ari van yen nur loli van ar khel ne mer van tolai var pani van garvam kundal kallayurai van kallayurai van ure லிரிக்ஸ் புரியாதுன்றாங்க லிரிக்ஸ் புரியாமே பாடும் போது லைட்டாக எழுதியிருக்காங்கன்னா பாருங்களேன் அந்த அளவுக்கு வந்து மியூசிக்லேயே இட் ஹஸ் சோல் திஸ் சாங் எஸ் அப்சல்யூட்லி ஐ வாஸ் ஐ வாஸ் ஸ்பெல் பவுண்ட் ஒன் ஐ ஹேர்ட் தி சாங் அண்ட் ஐ வாஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ப்ரேயிங் தட் காட் ப்ளீஸ் ரிட்டைன் மை வாய்ஸ் இன் திஸ் ஒன் சோ थैंक यू थैंक्स अ लॉट थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी மாதேவன் So in this episode of Bay and is Mathi Jose with Madhavan. Ungal ellala pudichindha pudikkalana la tak nu comment la padivu pannunga. Idhukku munnadi episode nammalo oda enna na Tirupu Subramani maravargal kuda or interaction pannindho illaya. Adhukku keela Victor Vettori indra avaru or super comment koduthundanga. Enna na Bay and team ku vaarthukal indha mari interview nalla adhu adala superana vishayam da. Irundhalum 
இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய பேர் சினிமா ஃபீல்டில் இருந்தால் கூட வேறு வேறு ஆங்கிள்லேருந்து நிறைய இன்டர்வியூஸ் எடுங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லியிருந்தாங்க ரொம்ப நன்றி எங்களை க்ளோஸாக ஃபாலோ பண்ணுறதுக்கு உங்களை மாதிரி ஆக்டர்களுக்காகவே தான் நிறைய இன்டர்வியூஸ் ஆன் தி வேலை இருக்குது நாட் ஜஸ்ட் ஆக்டர் ஆக்ட்ரஸ் ஓகே வி அஷ்யூர் யூ தேட் தேங்க்யூ Come on